Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we are going to discuss about non-overlapped implication operators. So in our previous videos, we have seen our implication operators that is one type overlapping implication operators. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about non-overlapped implication. So we have seen that overlapped implication are also known as your same cycle implica uh, implication operators. And in this non-overlapped implication operators, these are also known as next cycle implication operators. These are also known as next cycle implication operator. By the name, by now, you may have understood that what is meant by next cycle implication operator. Let us take an example for this. So let's say if we have declared a property, property example, at the rate passage of clock, Let's say your A, non-overlapped implication B. So the non-overlapped implication is represented by the symbol and end property. So this is non-overlapped implication operator. Now, so let's say if we have a clock signal, So at the positive edges of the clock, your assertion is go going to get evaluated. So here your assertion checking is going to get performed. Now let's say this is your A signal and this is your B. Now if you, let's say your A is becoming high here and it is high up to this particular cycle and it is zero and again it is becoming one and zero. Okay. And let's say this is your B signal which is becoming high somewhere here and it is becoming zero and it is zero, one, zero, one, zero. Okay. So let's say this is your B signal. Now coming to non-overlapped implication operator is it is also similar to your implication operator only. So at the first clock cycle, I am denoting it with one. So at the first clock cycle, you will get a partial success since your a signal is equal to zero. So you are going to get a partial success. Now at the second clock cycle also, you are get, going to get a partial success as your A value is equal to zero. And at the third clock cycle, your value of A is equal to one. So that's why it is going to, your assertion is going to get started. Your assertion is going to get start. But this is non-overlapped implication operator. That is next cycle implication operator. It is also known as in the case of implication operator, if your value of a was equal to one, so it is in the same cycle, it is going to check for the value of b, but this is non-overlapped implication operator. So here the assertion checking will get started because a value was equal to one, one and in the next clock cycle, it is going to check for the value of b. So it is equal to zero. So that's why your assertion is going to get failed. Okay which was started in the third clock cycle, your session was going to fail in the fourth clock cycle. Now in the fifth clock cycle, again, your value of A was equal, uh, sorry, in the fourth clock cycle, your value was, uh, your value of A was equal to one. So in the next clock cycle, it is going to check for the value of B. Again, it is zero. So that's why it is going to get failed. So starting is going to happening at second clock cycle. Second checking is happening at the fourth clock cycle. And at the fifth clock cycle, your assertion is going to get failed, which has been started in the fourth clock cycle. Now at the sixth clock cycle, what is happening? A was equal to zero. So you are getting a partial success. And at the seventh clock cycle also, you are going to get a partial success. And at the eighth clock cycle also same partial success. And at the ninth clock cycle, uh, this is ninth clock cycle, your value of A is equal to one. And let's say if you have a 10th clock cycle also, so at this particular 10th clock cycle, what is going to happen? The value of B was equal to one. So that's why you're getting, your assertion is going to get passed here. Okay. So what is actually happening here? So in the case of non-overlapped implication operator, if the value of the antecedent is true, then in the next clock cycle, the value of consequence should be true. Then assertion will get passed. Or if the, the value of antecedent is false, then your assertion is going to get uh, partially success. So this is how your non-overlapped implication operator is going to work. Yes. So that's all about this particular video. So if you like this particular video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel all about VDC. Thank you.